Now to another important story arising from a CBS News investigation. American troops and vets suffering with pain are being prescribed dubious drugs that cost taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. The drugs are concocted by so-called compounding pharmacies which make custom prescriptions. The abuse of patients and the breathtaking bills have surged in recent months, and Jim Axelrod is looking into this. Major General Richard Thomas has a big, expensive problem on his hands. It's just been a, an astronomical, an explosion of the charges in a relatively short period of time. Thomas, who's also a doctor, oversees TRICARE, the military's health benefit system. In the last year, TRICARE spending on compounded prescriptions has surged from $42 million a month to more than $300 million. We're on track this year to spend over $2 billion unless we get our hands around this. $2 billion. Virtually all the spending is for products the DOD believes are of dubious clinical benefit, like these scar and pain creams. They can be billed for up to $15,000 for a one-month supply. Is there anything in these creams that justifies the expense? Not that we can find. The creams are marketed directly to military personnel. At events like this one outside the gates of Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, a free lunch to thank soldiers for their service? There's no free lunch. These individuals, their patriotism is directly tied to their paycheck. They're not helping these soldiers. And they're not alone. Dozens of websites advertise the creams as custom-made cure-alls for service members' pain and wounds with little or no cost. This company, Healing for Heroes, makes it simple. Just fill out this online form and submit your request. Every patient that I have, they love these products. Deanna Dudding is the owner of Healing for Heroes. A CBS News producer posing as a potential sales rep recently met her at a restaurant in Florida, and Dudding shared the pitch she makes to service members and veterans. Okay. Here's these amazing creams. They're completely free. All you gotta do is type in your tracker number online and submit it. Dudding told us a doctor then calls the patient for a phone consultation and writes a prescription. This one month supply of scar and pain creams plus a dietary supplement cost taxpayers around $25,000. If you want to feel bad or do your own research, you can do just like the rest of us did, but yeah. we got over it real quick once we started making our money, you know what I mean? Dudding told us she only collects 3%, that most of the money goes to Patient Care America, a compounding pharmacy in Florida that makes the creams and supplements. How much is the pharmacy making off? Oh, like millions. Patient Care America CEO Patrick Smith declined our request for an interview, but said pain creams offer military personnel an alternative to addictive painkillers in this video statement provided to CBS News. Compounded pain creams allow these patients to seek relief from their suffering without experiencing the negative and often addictive side effects of those medications. Are these creams a viable alternative for treating the pain of wounded warriors who don't want to be addicted to the medication. They don't appear to be. We don't have any evidence that supports that. Ultimately, isn't it the responsibility of the military to make sure you're not getting taken advantage of? Absolutely. Compounding itself is a good tool for us to take care of our patients. We don't want to stop it. But what we do want to stop is the, the waste, fraud, and abuse that we're seeing, specifically in the area of some of these topical applications for pain medicines and scar revisions. This week, TRICARE is implementing a new claim screening process to reduce spending on compounded drugs, which now cost the Pentagon roughly $18 million each day. American people have no problem at all taking care of these soldiers, these troops, especially the wounded warriors, but they're not paying their taxes for this. In the company's statement to CBS News, Patient Care America said it has no financial relationship with Healing for Heroes, nor has it ever endorsed its actions. And following our meeting, Deanna Dudding told us Healing for Heroes no longer markets Patient Care America products, but she still has an active website, Scott. Important work produced by Emily Brand. Thank you very much, Jeff.